In a bright university seminar room, a 12-year-old girl named Elif is sitting among her classmates, her sketchbook open in front of her. They are about to begin a robotics workshop of a different kind. Instead of diving straight into technical concepts or coding, Elif and her friends will start with a problem of a person they know. Following my robot design framework, they will work through the problem step by step until they arrive to the solution, which represents their idea of a robot helper, like a drawing or a cardboard prototype. Elif has been grappling with a daily issue, carrying her heavy school books and sometimes forgetting them at home. When asked whom her robot could help, she immediately identifies her own challenge. By the end of the workshop, Elif has designed a robot to carry her books and ensure she never leaves anything behind. Her cardboard prototype incorporates sensors for navigation, a microcontroller as the robot's brain, and actuators to make the robot move, roll, fly. The students' facilitators are amazed about the creativity and openness of the 12-year-old girl. Her teachers are impressed by her dedication and concentration on a single project. And Elif herself sees something in the university students, especially the female ones, that makes her aspire to become like them one day. University doesn't feel like school. It feels more like a playground. It's because the workshop was designed like that. Everyone's creating and having fun. The 12-year-olds master small challenges to build up their confidence. At the end, Eli feels confident that she can build this robot one day. And she proudly presents her design to the others. This is where an innovation begins, through playful yet structured learning. Technical universities are unique places for science-driven innovation, and they are really important to nurture the spirit of innovation across all age groups. Value creation, in a business sense, isn't the objective of a university. Knowledge creation is. Ethical considerations, integrity, the constant pursuit of truth remain foundational. The outcome? is measured in impact on society, not in market value, though a little bit funding would help. My approach to teaching product development combines playful creativity with the essence of scientific exploration. Cultivating a culture of openness, creativity, and the confidence to explore the unknown. I teach various groups young people, university students, professionals, to approach problem solving through constructionist learning and participative design by focusing on issues that resonate personally with them. To shake up usual academic routines, I often challenge my students to build a simple object from materials at hand in a very short time. This directs their focus on the process, nurturing a mindset that values experimentation and the courage to try, fail, try again. Through this, students develop the needed flexibility for navigating uncertainty and driving innovation. Hands-on co-creation is more than lean canvases and prototypes. It's about zooming out to grasp the bigger picture and then zooming back in to create something tangible. Often the outcome is more than a final product. It's a mindset shift that inspires people to broaden their horizons, cultivating openness towards different perspectives and a genuine appreciation for interdisciplinary collaboration. Imagine this venue, high ceilings, elegant arches, students, researchers, professionals, attending a prestigious robotics conference. Robots flying, walking, 
rolling, in between lively conversations, diverse minds exchanging ideas and discussing the future of robotics, an inspiring blend of tradition and modern innovation. I want to focus on three people in this room. There's Michael, a scientist, totally absorbed in his navigation algorithm. All that matters is the pursuit of a technical solution to a scientific problem. He was trained to think like this. He's a specialist, a very good one for that matter. And for the task at hand, this kind of thinking serves him very well. There's Catherine, an automotive industry professional. Her focus is on turning ideas into marketable products. She sees the world through the lens of market needs, scalability, and user experience. And there is Elif, our 12-year-old girl from the robotics workshop. Her perspective on the world breaks free from conventional boundaries. She sees in the robot more than a technology. It's her path to independence. To her, technology is about empowerment. What if knowledge creation would be more like a jam session, where different kind of thinking, different fields perspective, different worldviews would play at each other to create something entirely new? As Elif shares her problem and her robot prototype, Catherine immediately gets inspired. What if my car would tell me when I forget something at home? What if um, we could build for Elif a self-driving scooter as a second prototype? Engineering students eagerly jump in, already discussing the technical feasibility of such a scooter. With their entrepreneurial drive, scientific understanding, and technical skills, they make valuable partners in the co-creation process. At this moment, Michael realizes his algorithm could be the missing part to bring the concept to life. It would be a much simpler version of what he originally intended, but it would enable the scooter on two wheels to balance while it's driving on its own. His algorithm isn't just code anymore. It's part of something that could make a real difference. Building a sustainable future goes beyond achieving a single goal. It's a continuous journey of transformation. This transformation grows through hands-on co-creation that bridges boundaries. Whether those boundaries are age, discipline, or expertise. When different perspectives and worldviews collide and converge, they create a richer, more nuanced approach to problem solving. It's not just about combining skills, it's about blending different worldviews to expand what's possible. By engaging in hands-on co-creation, we do more than develop solutions. We transform ourselves in the process. Universities are particularly well-suited for this kind of collaboration. They offer not only physical spaces, but also the intellectual ecosystem that fosters scientific understanding, practical skills, and the frame for ethical action. Let's make us this vision a reality. When you go home tonight, consider the challenges in your world and who you could collaborate with to tackle them. Engage in playful interaction with children, young people, or experts from complete different fields to create something tangible and meaningful. Together we can build a future where sustainability and innovation aren't just goals, but lived experiences. Thank you. <laughs>